friends, it's your art teacher, Miss Barnett. And in this week's class, we've been talking about seeing people in their beautiful skin colors. If you haven't noticed, people all over the place have different skin colors. And I think it's very beautiful. And I love the variety of all the differences in people. And I hope that you do too. So like I was saying in my earlier video, if you look at your arm and your other side of your arm, you'll notice this side of your arm is paler or lighter than the front of your arm. Go ahead and compare that with someone else in the room real quick or at your house. And you'll notice that there's always a little bit of difference between people's skin color. Today we're going to review how to make a tint. A tint is a color plus white. You will be needing some uh, paint today. If you don't have paint, that's okay. You can use markers or crayons for this project. If you are using paint, you're gonna to have to decide your first decision is, are you gonna start with white or are you gonna start with brown? Since I'm a paler skin, a pale version of brown, I'm gonna start with white. Then I'll show you how to make a tint and I'll show you how to mix the colors of your skin and how to check that. And then we're going to paint a picture of ourselves. So um, in art, we call that a self-portrait, a picture of ourselves. So we're gonna paint our skin we're going to look at our clothes and I'll even show you how to paint details or patterns on your clothes today. So what you're going to need is a piece of paper. I'm using a nine and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Tempera paint, if that's what we're using, you'll need white, brown, yellow, red, and maybe a little bit of blue. And you'll need a brush and a water cup. And if you're not using any of those materials, you can get out some crayons and I'll show you how to use crayons for this project. So go ahead and get all your stuff together and let's get started. All right, kids, so I've got my paper taped to the table for later. I've got my palette with lots of white. If you're darker or more brown than I am, you might want the brown to be this much and the white to be this much. And I've got a little bit of primary color, yellow, red, and blue. So let me show you how to mix my skin color and I can show you other skin colors too today. So I'm gonna take my brush, swish, swish, wipe the brush on the edge of my water cup. And my skin is a little bit pink. So I'm gonna take a little bit of red and mix it in here with my white. Just like so. But that doesn't look quite right, does it, guys? I think we should add a little bit of yellow. So that's not quite right. Swish, swish, wipe my brush. And add a little bit of yellow to this. We can, don't add too much. Remember, we can always add more later. Starting to get there. Starting to look more like my color. Not quite dark enough, so I'm gonna add just the tiniest bit of brown and deepen that skin color just a little bit. Do you notice how I'm checking my color on my arm? Just a little bit, not a lot. It's pretty close. I think a little bit more brown. And that is pretty dang close to me. I think that's right. So that's if you're going to make this color skin. I'll show you how to make some other colors too. Hold on one second. All right, guys, like I was saying, different people have different color skin. I brought in Mr. De La Rosa so I could show you how to mix a darker tone of skin. So like I said before, you're either gonna start with white or brown. I think we'll start with brown for Mr. De La Rosa and add some brown to the white. A little bit of the color and a lot of white makes a tint. And then looking at Mr. De La Rosa's skin, I see a lot of golden tones. So I'm gonna add yellow to this mixture. Make sure you mix in all the colors. You don't want a big dark streak. 
or a light streak. Okay, let's compare your arm. I think we need to go a little bit, um, a little bit of red, because he's got some pink in his skin too. I think we're getting there, friends. What do you think, Mr. De La Rosa? Hi, you know what? That's amazing. That's pretty close. <laughs> let's check it. Yay! I like it. Perfect. It is close. Awesome. So, guys, just practice making different mixtures and see what colors you need to mix to mix your own skin color. And I'll show you the next step. All right, guys. So, now that I've mixed my skin color and shown you how to make a darker skin color, if you have darker skin than me, let's start making our self portrait. So, when we work today making our portrait, we're going to hold the brush by the ferrule. Remember, we want super duper control for this project because we want to make sure our shapes come out really good. So hold it up here on the metal part, not way back here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the blob method today like we did for our insects. And we're going to make our head. And you can, I think I'm going to draw myself from the waist up. So I'm going to go pretty big. And our head's kind of like an egg shape. That looks pretty good. We want the head towards the top of the paper. That way we have lots of room for the rest of our bodies. All right, I want you to think about what you're wearing and where your skin is showing. So here my neck is showing and my because I'm wearing a sweatshirt today. And I've kind of got my arms exposed. You can see. So I'm going to draw that part up to my elbow. Remember, I'm stopping at the waist of my shirt down. And if I did have hands, I could use the blob method just like we did here. Remember, we have five fingers, so don't forget all five of your fingers on your hands if your hands are going to show. I think I'm going to use my detail brush to add my fingers. Here we go, there's my fingers on my hand. So now let's look at, take a look at our clothes. I'm wearing a brown sweatshirt today. Um, I think I'm gonna change the color of this because it's kind of gonna match my skin color. So if you're wearing brown or black, let's think of a different color we could add to make our clothes today. We want to make sure that we use a bright color so our skin really shows up because it's so beautiful. So let me go get some colors for that. All right, guys, I'm going to start mixing the colors for my sweater. I think today I'm going to make an orange sweater for me to wear. So let's try mixing yellow and red and see what color we make. More yellow. That's a pretty color. I think I'm going to use that. Pretty. So I'm going to let this part of the painting dry so we can add the details on top and I'll come back when this paper is dry. Okay guys, let's let it dry. All right kiddos, the first layer of my painting is done. Now I can come back in and I can paint my hair and my face and add the details on my shirt. Now I have a very unusual hair color. My hair color is kind of like a light blue, but most people don't have colors like that. 
Uh, most people have a brown or red or uh, black or even like a yellow kind of hair color. So use the right hair color for your head. And I'm going to show, I'm going to mix another tint to make my hair color. So I've got lots of white on my palette. So I'm going to swish, swish, wipe my brush. And now I'm ready to start making my hair color. So I'm going to use a little bit of blue. But that's not quite the right color. I think it needs it to be a little bit more purpley. So I'm going to add just a little bit of red. Remember, you use a little bit. You can always add more later. Ooh, I think we're getting closer. All right, I'm ready to paint my hair. That looks about the same color, pretty close. I've got big curly, curly hair, so it comes down to my shoulder. If you have shorter hair, you might want to paint your ears before you do the hair. There's my hair. I'm going to get out my detail brush now and start working on the details like my eyebrows. Which are kind of like two curvy lines. I have green eyes, so to make green I'm going to mix yellow and blue. And I think I'm going to take a break and clean out my water. So if your water gets chucky like this, raise your hand in class. Or if you're at home, take a short break and change out your water. All right, kiddos, I've got some clean water for my brush. I'm using my detail brush to add more details to my picture. So like I said, my eyes are green. So I'm going to mix a green using a little bit of blue and a little bit of yellow. And maybe even off of one of my other palettes, a touch of brown to darken it up. That looks pretty close to my eye color. So now I'm going to take my detail brush and I'm going to paint my eyes. They're going to be circles. Now let's paint my lips. My lips are going to be a pink color, so I'm going to take a little bit of red, swish, swish, wipe my brush. Take a little tiny bit of red and a lot of white. And let's make a pink. might even use this color right here where I got a little bit of drop of red in the pink or in the white. This color looks like my lip color. And there's my mouth. You can make whatever kind of design you want. All right, kiddos, here's my completed scene people self-portrait project. I mixed the colors to make my skin tone. I made a different color for my brown shirt. Remember if you're wearing brown or black, change the color so it doesn't quite blend in with your skin so much. I painted, I waited till everything was dry. Then I painted my hair. I added the details of my face and I added a pattern on my clothes. I hope you have just as much fun painting yourself as I had painting myself today. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.